the reason why we're talking is um, I, I got into psychedelics, which I never, ever thought I would in my life. But a little bit about my childhood. We, we were a poor nation. Um, um, there's a big thing right now that's all over the news globally that there's been a delegation of First Nations from Canada going over to see the Pope. And uh, the reason why is the Pope supposedly wanted to apologize for the Catholic Church murdering so far um, over 9,000 children. Of, of graves that they found, uh, little babies to, you know, 10-year-old uh, uh, kids. They killed, um, so far, 9,000 in the residential school here. And the last residential school co closed in 1986. So it was, it, was a, it was a brutal thing that Canada and the, and the, and the church did in, in um, killing. But my point of saying that is every First Nation in, in Canada, one way or other, was affected by the the residential schools, but the colonial system that created those residential schools is still the colonial system like in the U.S. that we're dealing with today. You know, um, the jail population for First Nations is, is is still 40%. The homeless population for First Nations is 40%. My cousin did 30 years for break and enter, for stealing. A non-First Nation would get nothing for killing a First Nation. So, the you know, the murder missing woman inquiry was a, was a big joke because the they should have did it on, on, on the corners, the, the police and the judges. That's who the inquiry should have been on, and they didn't do that. But anyway, um, I wasn't immune to all those problems that, that the residential schools and the colonial system created. I wasn't immune to that and, and um, grew up with a lot of trauma. And, um, but my community did lots of healing. Um, my, some of my leadership, um, my aunts and uncles, and mainly my, my uncle Leonard George, he... He said, we need economic sovereignty. At one point, when he became chief, there's only a secretary and himself working for our nation. Everyone else worked off reserve, but our employment was like less than 20%. And at one point, a couple of years ago, our employment was zero unemployment. And now we hover around 5%. And um, we employ about 260, 70 people. Our nation's small, we only have 550. We focus really hard on education. We won back lots of land. The most uh, valuable real estate in North America is here in Vancouver. I think we won back something like a couple thousand acres of Vancouver land, which equals over a billion dollars easily. So, um, we're, but we're being really careful how to spend that money. Like we focus it on culture, language, education, healing, all those things are priority. Our elders are priority. And um, not one family is going to monopolize that money. We're going to make sure that we're not going to give it away, but we're going to pay our people well. And I think that's what they deserve. And we're working towards that. And we put money into environment, as I said in the beginning. We put it towards, um, you know, our land and water and fish and salmon and elk and everything. <clears throat> and, and 